Hello and welcome back to Yakuza 0. It's time to head out into the world once more and see what we can find. Now I was told that I may have missed somebody right outside this building and slightly to the left. Oh, never mind, we got a cutscene. Hmm? Who's that then? What's that odd-looking woman doing? Is she checking out the office? Come to think of it, there was that call. A woman with bobbed hair is coming from the Regional Taxation Bureau. So that woman must be from their investigation department. Marusa. They're the taxation experts that investigate companies for tax evasion. She's one of them. Okay, I don't think that's who I missed. Uh, so apparently there's somebody here that I missed, maybe? Nope. Nope. Okay. Uh, just her? And if it's just her, that's fine. It might be somebody out to the left. Nah, th there's Tissue Guy. Uh, no, I don't think I missed anybody near the office. So let's speak to her. I mean, we've got to do something, so... Hello. Oi. Hey, are you maybe... What is it? Are you, uh, Marusa? Marusa? What do you mean by Marusa? Yeah. Well, well, you have a bob haircut. You must be the woman who called me, aren't you? Huh? What are you saying? I'm not Marusa. My name's kind of close, but I'm hungry. Oh, all right then. I'm the one from Marusa, Kiryu-san. You are? Yeah. Yes. Sorry for not introducing myself sooner. I'm Agent Maui of the Regional Taxation Bureau's uh, Criminal Investigation Department, aka Marusa. So, you're the one who called me. You wanted to talk to me about something? Yes, I was hoping to ask you something, Kiryu-san. What's that? Kiryu-san. I need your assistance in a delicate matter. What kind of assistance? You mean Marusa needs help? Precisely, Kiryu-san. Have you had any dealings with your neighbor, Maguro Enterprises, in the office next door? Yeah. No, I didn't know the name of the business until now. Good. That's ideal. We're investigating Maguro Enterprises for tax evasion. Really? Tax evasion? Shush. Keep it down. We were tipped off on Maguro's infraction by an informant to his dealings with them. Our source promised to deliver evidence to back it up, but then we lost all contact. Mm. Your source might have been silenced. Forever. <sighs> I'm afraid so. I need to get the goods on Maguro Enterprises, but if I did it myself, Maguro might notice a stranger sniffing around and become suspicious. But if you were seen with me, his next door neighbor, your presence can be explained. That's why you want my help with this. Nice. I couldn't have put it better. You catch on fast. Yeah. I get the picture, but I don't really have much of a stake in this. Mm. Nope. You're not obliged in any way, but if you were to offer assistance, you won't regret it. In more ways than one, I would think. Oh ho ho! Hmm. What's that supposed to mean? You're taking on the five billionaires, right? That's on top of figuring out how to run a business. Not too easy for you, is it? How do you know that? <laughs> I'm with Marusa, remember? Doesn't that's nothing compared to the kind of information we work with. Here's the deal. Help me, and I'll help you with your business. Not a bad deal, is it? You're serious? Yup. I know the industry inside out. My support's invaluable, wouldn't you say? Mm, true. So, decision time. Will you help me investigate Maguro Enterprises quietly? Yeah, sure. Why not? Uh... Fine. Tax evasion is a serious crime. I'll do my part for the good of society. <laughs> good. 
We have a deal. All right. Hey, Marusa lady. Yes, Kiryu-san. By the way, I told you, my name is Maori. Um, why are we getting the mouth close-up shots? Oh, Maori-san, you're, uh, kind of close. <laughs> it's a brilliant cover, though. By pretending to be a couple, we can loiter without arousing suspicion. Uh, alright. Ah. Hmm? What's the matter, Maori-san? Shush, quiet. It's Maguro. The head honcho from Maguro Enterprises is coming. Hmm? Hey, he's staring at us. It's okay. We're just a couple on a date. Mm. Yes, but... <sighs> just go with it. Kyoyukun, I love you. Huh? Hey, what gives all of a sudden? I don't love her. Play along, will you? We have to convince him we're a couple in love. Come on, Kiryu-san. You need to perform. Declare our love. Maori-san, I, I can't resist. I love you. Kiryu-kun, me too. I love you. Yes, me too. I love you so much, I can't resist. I... I can't resist either. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> My love for you is greater than the stars in, he in the heavens. What the... Whoa! What? I I'm so sorry, you you woke the woman in me. Mm. Why does this always seem to happen to me? Wait, what about Maguro? <laughs> He's just watched the whole thing. Get a room, you two. Yes, it worked. Good job, Kiryu-san. Mm? Huh? Wait a second, you're... Uh-oh, does he suspect something? Yeah, you're from the office next door, aren't you? Huh, I've seen you going in and out. Uh, uh, yeah. I'm Kiryu. I was recently put in charge here. Sorry for not introducing myself sooner. Oh, oh I'm Maguro. I'm in real estate. And, no, I should have introduced myself sooner, too. <clears throat> anyway, Kiryu-san, I'm impressed that you're the man in charge at such a young age. You must bring a lot to the table. Yeah. No, it was really just circumstantial. <laughs> <laughs> and modest, too. Listen, may I invite you to my office for some tea? I'd like to get to know my neighbor. Nani? Oh, wait, I shouldn't be interrupting your fun. Sorry, that was inconsiderate of me. Interrupting our fun? Oh! President Maguro, please pay me no heed. I'm President Kiryu's secretary. Secretary, after all. Oh, a bit of office romance. Eh? What? Kiryu-san, you're dating your own secretary? Oh, that must be nice. <laughs> now I really have to get to know you better, Kiryu-san. Please, do come for a visit. Hmm, mm, I don't know. Kiryu-san, this is the perfect opportunity. Huh? We've gained entry into Maguro Enterprises. I knew you were the right man for the job, Kiryu-san. Oh, right. That's true. But what if your cover is blown? Also, are we speaking telepathically? Because, like, this guy could totally hear us and if we weren't. Danger comes with the territory. I'll do whatever it takes to expose Maguro's shady dealings. Huh. Got it. I'm in this with you to the end. Is something wrong? Yeah. No, no, we were just saying we should take you up on your kind offer and visit your office. I see, I see. Then, please, this way. Ah, <laughs> we're going to the office.
Oops, there is no one here. The staff and even my secretary are out. Your office is bigger than mine. Also, I love the computer. No matter, I can prepare I can prepare the tea myself. Have a seat and make yourself comfortable. <laughs> I like it hot and steamy. Okay, hot and steamy it shall be. This is our chance to search the office. Oi. Are you sure about this, Murray san There is no telling when Maguro will come back. Kiryu san, tell me, what's he doing now? Making our tea. A standard teapot's capacity is between 400 to 600 milliliters. To prepare tea for three and some refills, he would need two pots, so he needs to boil a liter of water. To boil a liter of water in a kettle takes about four minutes on high heat. That man likely gets his secretary to make tea, so you'll need time finding the tea leaves. All in all, we have about seven minutes to conduct a search before he returns with our tea. Follow? Marusa's something else. Hmm, this isn't so much Marusa as it is just common sense. Also, rather than working those gums, how about getting busy? I doubt financial statements will mean anything to you, Kiryu-san. Look for anything suspicious instead. Uh. Got it. Okay. I will check the seats. The sofa looks comfortable, but there's nothing suspicious about it. What do you mean there's nothing suspicious about it? Somebody's decided to create a sofa with the most uncomfortable armrests you could possibly imagine. And it also, it's hideous. It's very suspicious. Obviously someone's doing some money laundering here. These lockers are locked, of course. Shocked. Shocked. Um. Okay. Hmm. This video rack. Is there something odd about it? Nah. Nothing's wrong. No. There's nothing strange here. I just want to see what else there is. A Dharma and Prancing Stallions. The man's got taste. No, he hasn't. Have you seen the sofas? There are some machines here. I better not mess with the desk. Okay, I guess the tapes are suspicious. Something's wrong. What's odd about it? Um, it's location. Not really a problem. The video collection, not a problem. It's presence? There isn't a video player, right? Oi. Maori-san, don't you think this video rack is odd? <laughs> odd? I don't see anything odd about it. There's nothing wrong with the video rack itself, but it's strange that it's here in this room at all. It being here is odd? Oh! oh. You're right. There's all these videos, but neither a TV nor a VCR to play them on. Uh. Right. It's too bulky to be just placed here on a temporary basis. Besides, there is dust here that shows it hasn't been moved recently. There is something clearly unnatural about this video rack. <laughs> Kiryu-san, that's on the money. They must be hiding something in these videotapes. <sighs> To think he would hide evidence in plain sight in his office. Maguro's bold, I'll give him that. So, if you were to examine these videotapes... Kiryu-san, sorry, but can you open the door for me? I'm holding a tray. <gasps> uh, sure, I'll get it. He was quicker than expected. What do we do now? You know where to look now, so maybe we should come back another time? No, I can't risk having him to move the evidence. We're settling this now. Yeah. Yeah, but Maguro's back. We can't keep searching. True. I don't have any choice. It's time for the last resort. Mm. The last resort? What's that, then? <laughs> Sorry to keep you folks waiting. I usually get my secretary to serve tea, so I had to track down the tea leaves. Also, how he's chosen to sit on that sofa 
is very interesting, given that there's three of us who are in theory drinking tea, yet they've both decided that the sofa is a one-person sofa. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much. Speaking of, why isn't your secretary taking a seat? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry for any awkwardness. I threw out my back, and sitting is simply agonizing. <laughs> Ouch, that's rough. I know how bad it is to throw out your back. Yes, so I'd pr much prefer to stand. Please don't mind me. Remember what I just told you, Kiryu-san. Keep Maguro focused on you while I examine all the video cassettes. There is no way this is going to work. He's sure to notice. You can do it, Kiryu-san. You're a man of the balls to do this, and Marusa gets men by their balls. Okay then. That made no sense. What's wrong? Can't take your eyes off each other? Oh, oh no, it's nothing. <laughs> ha, must be nice to be in love like that. Anyway, Kiryu-san, if you don't mind me asking, how did you get to be in charge of your own office at such a young age? Uh, well, it's a little complicated. I was approached by this man. What is she? Okay. Maori san's got nerves of steel. If Maguro was to glance behind him, we'd be toast. Oh, I see. It's amazing how a single chance meeting can change your life completely, isn't it? Hmm? You seem a little distracted, Kiryu san. Is something bothering you? Nani? Uh, you think so? It's just. Something seems to be distracting you a lot. What's bothering you? You have great taste in clothes. Yeah. Your clothes just look really great, Maguro-san. <laughs> what? My clothes, you say? <laughs> so, you can tell, can you? I bought these on an impulse just the other day. Cost a fair amount, too. Around 800,000 yen or so. Oh my lord. Really? It's a great brand, and the designer's a big name worldwide. You have to hand it to their sense of style, I mean, you can tell it's a quality piece by... We got them talking, that's all that matters. She's still, uh, going absolutely crazy. Okay, I managed to get through that. Oh! It's not just clothes for me, either. I have a collection of watches, too. They're at home, of course, but the German-made timepieces. Uh, my girl likes the sound of his own voice. I have to keep my girl talking and buy time so Maori san can finish going through the videotapes. Kiryu san, I have to tell you I'm impressed by how well your business is doing. I gotta say, this is perfectly following the advice I was given in conversations where it's like, if you have to make small talk with someone, best thing to do is ask them about themselves because most people are quite willing to talk for uh, ages about themselves. Like they'll just go on and on and on, and you just basically just have to prompt the next question and they'll just keep going. You, you just kind of poke it a little bit, and you get a lot of mileage out of that. Yeah. Oh, I don't think we're doing anything too differently. <laughs> How modest of you. I wish your success would rub off on us next door. The world being the way it is, the one with the money wins. It doesn't matter how they got it either. It doesn't matter at all. Oh, excuse me. Got lost in my own thoughts there. Tell me, Kiryu-san. You're obviously well off, but is there anything you still want? Something I want. Let's see. Nope. Nope. Okay. So we can't say a VCR because he'll look at the videotapes. We can't say women because he'll look at uh, Maui. So it has to be a house. A house, maybe. Oh, a house, you say. Oh, what sort of property are you considering? Hmm? Oh, right, because he's a real estate person. That makes sense. Hmm. You really perked up there. Oh, right, of course, you're in real estate. <laughs> you forgot that comprehensive support for finding your dream property. You get it all at McGrew Enterprises. So, what areas are you considering for your new home? Do you want a single family home or a condo? How much floor space would you like? Well, let's see. Just 
She's still going crazy. There, I kept my girl's attention focused on me. Murray, san hurry. <laughs> well, I must say I'm glad I finally got to meet you, Kiryu-san. I enjoy chatting with you, too. Uh, uh, yeah, same here. My girl's trying to wrap things up. Is Murray san done? Yes. She wants more time. Oh boy, easy for her to say. Well, Kiryu-san, I enjoyed your visit, but I should be getting back to work now. Maguro-san. Hmm? Yes? How do I buy more time? You could ask for a handshake. He would say yes. That is a good way to wrap something up. Pretend to fall asleep. That's not going to do anything. Reading his palm, like neither of these he's going to want to do. Handshake is the easiest way. And then we just hold that handshake for as long as possible. Maguro-san, before I go, may I shake hands with you? <laughs> shake hands? Why, of course. Here's to a fruitful relationship. Don't let go. Oh yes, I hope so. I very much hope so. If you ever have any good tips for me, I'd love to get in on it. Uh, Kiryu-san? Can we, uh... Uh. We're going to be next door neighbors a long time. We should get to know each other well. <clears throat> uh, yeah, Kiryu-san, agreed. But you've got quite a grip, Tiger. Uh, can I have my hand back now? Yeah. No. Can we stay this way just a little while longer? Eh? Are you fantasizing about something, Kiryu-san? Oh, no. Good. I can buy her some more time. We've done it? Well, Kiryu-san, thanks for visiting. Feel free to drop by any time for some tea. Uh, uh yeah. There, gotcha, this is it. Eh? She just gave us away, we did all of this work and she just gives the whole thing away. W what? President Maguro, I found this bank book in a videotape. Interestingly, these numbers don't seem to match the revenue figures in your tax filings. <laughs> what? That's, you, are you from Marusa? I was merely invited along as Kiryu-san's friend, but yes, coincidentally, I happened to work for the Criminal Investigation Department of the Regional Taxation Bureau. I'm rather dismayed that I stumbled upon evidence of your tax evasion on my private time. Uh? Damn you! I'll kill you! <gasps> you want to consider the consequences first? If you kill me, you're guaranteed a life sentence. Stay on your best behaviour and you might be lucky enough to get parole in 30 years. How old will you be then? If you're willing to stay caged that long, go ahead, kill me. Ugh. We've done it? We've done it. <laughs> Kiryu-san, thanks to you, we got evidence of Maguro's tax evasion. You did a great job keeping Maguro's attention away from me. You did better than I could have hoped. <laughs> uh, just do my part for the country. Like I promised, I'll help you with your business. Of course, I will expect to be compensated fairly. Nani? It's not free? <laughs> of course not. Besides, it's peanuts to you. In this day and age, money is flowing like water. <laughs> Hmm, I feel like I got the short end of the stick. Hey, we got a new advisor. Nice. So, double business on the far right. Uh, and also, we got some shopping. That's, that's pretty good. Pay is 8 million? Okay, she better, like, you know, print gold. And Kiryu-san? Make sure your office keeps on filing your taxes properly, got it? Uh, no argument from me. I just got a first-hand demonstration of how scary Marusa can be. <laughs> you know it, crime doesn't pay. Looks at camera. 
gamers Yakuza. All right. This is for you, as thanks for your help. I want you to have it. Trouble finder. Watch your back. Marusa lurks everywhere, sniffing around wherever dirty money leaves its stench. You never know. Marusa could be watching you out of sight, but never far away. Dun, dun, dun. Oh. What is she doing? All right. Well, <laughs> what is that new piece of equipment I just got there? The trouble finder. Ah, this device is said to find people around town who are in need of help. Oh, okay. So this is kind of similar to our card watcher in that it will actually give us a um, yeah, it gives a little notice when there's someone nearby. Okay, we should consider that at some point. But well, right now we're not struggling to find people, but later we might be. Oh, and this is the guy who was to the left. Hello. Oh, hey, Kiryu baby. Kiryu, oh, you mean Mr. Kiryu. If this isn't Palpalon Kato and Director Spinning, what are you two doing here? Bling bling ka ching! We were just talking about you, Kiryu! Talking about me? Yes, you helped us with that music video for Miracle. Now I want to do something for you, Kiryu. You helped me out big time too, so I want to hype up your side gig. Bada bing, bada biz! Oh, uh, what does that mean? We want to help you, Kiryu chan! Yes, we'll put. Our world-class abilities at your disposal. Come on, Kiryu. Let's do this thing together. Sure. It would be great to get top names like you two to help me. Aren't you really busy with your day jobs, though? Don't sweat the deets. We're jazzed to work with you, Kiryu-chan. Just let us on the gravy train. Alright, we got manager. Okay. I mean, he is minus two on a lot of things, but that plus four is, or that four star is pretty good. Haha, <laughs> we'll smash box office records together. And another manager? Five? Oh my, he's amazing. I'm not too sure about this, but oh well. Thanks for your help, guys. Okay, we are now like much, much better on pretty much every aspect of business. We have no issues with our payouts. Let's go back in the building. Right. Let's get some payouts. There we go. 73 million yen. 80 million yen. We also have a half a million yen just sitting in our accounts. 39 million yen. And then 4 million. Okay. Well, let's see what we want to do here. So I probably want to put our new manager, uh, I want to put Steven in this position, which is great because Nugget is now bad. Uh, yeah, if we stick him in there, that's probably going to be our best option. Yeah, which makes our economy okay. Uh, I mean, it's not amazing right now, but it will be in the future, and this is our highest grossing area, so that seems fantastic. We need to change our security out because that guy is no longer very good. Uh, looks like the best security we have is a zero right now, although we could put this guy on as well. You know what? That guy's probably fine. There we go. He's not going to be great this time, but he'll be better on the next three attempts, which means he'll switch at the same time as spinning, which is pretty good. Right. Here, so the best I think is still him. He's, he's two double circle. Yeah, yeah. I think he's still best. Nice, we got an S rank on the arcade. What would be cool is if these actually upgraded the buildings, if it was an actual building, and then it made it better. So, say, investing in the arcade might bring a new arcade machine or something. I think that would be really cool. I wonder if they do anything like that in the future games. It's still only her for this, this one right here? Wow, okay. We need somebody to help us uh, with... Um, Restaurants. Okay, which one am I on? Lovely bunny. Wait, oh, can't invest in it. Sushi, same one. 
that's okay. Pachinko, we're all we're max invested. This building, uh, I think is now her, but let me double check. Yeah, it's now her. It cost us 8 million yen, but oh, that was a straight upgrade. I see. That's not bad. Uh, and now we occupy 100% of the territory as well. She's also best for this one. Let's see how well this goes. That's pretty good, yeah. Yeah, that all seems pretty good now. Um, this one? Which we currently have the Electronics King and uh, his security working at. This seems absolutely fine. No worries whatsoever on this one. Uh, let's just upgrade and then send it. We'll pay another 8 million yen just to get that one upgraded right away. I suppose we it, it's the difference between paying 8 million yen now and then paying like four lots of 2 million yen, I guess. But also this one was 100% not worth the amount that we've invested in it, but that's okay. I like having them all maxed out. It's good. Uh, she's X'd on that one. Okay. So we'll keep investing with that guy. The theater. Still him. Double circles. Uh, this one. Still uh, Tomomi. Sexual harassment. Uh, so that's, that's still this guy. Okay. Again, it fits... Uh, how we met him. Right, that's fine. Gambling King area. We need to switch off the Leisure King, which is fine. He can be swapped out for uh, Sachiko. Yeah, this guy's still okay, although his problem solving is about to run out. We might need to replace him next time. Let's upgrade this. Oh, it didn't go all the way. So, but we'll, we'll keep investing. It's just slow. Yeah. Then we just go collect. 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 We can go buy a whole bunch of the uh, Pleasure King's district now as well. That's fantastic. We have so much money. I think I know what I'm going to do right now. Unless I run into another thing. We might play some Mahjong. We might play just a quick one game of Mahjong. Because it's in the right area as well. But we'll see. We'll see. We have to walk all the way over there first. Right. Uh, and I purely want to play Mahjong because I remember how to play it. So, yeah, let's get over here. Oh, it's a long way away, huh? It's a very long way away. That's okay. Uh, we got a bunch of completion points. We might have enough now, actually, to get what I need. Um, let's see. I don't know actually which one I'm after here. We have 15. I don't know whether I prefer you can't stop me or whether I prefer quick collection first. Because the thing about quick collection is... I guess it depends how quick it is. Yeah. Because already we're kind of going out doing a sub story and then coming back. It doesn't really matter how quick it is because we always get it done in time. We could also move down this way and try and get some more of this stuff going. Which was probably worth it uh, but not right now disposable income enemies picking up money drop items only works if you have the cash confetti ability enemies picking up money oh enemies picking up money drops items I get it so if you use the cash confetti you can potentially get items off of it hmm okay it's interesting and then dash without getting tired they're interesting, but we'll leave it for just now. When we hit 20, we can decide between um, quicker payouts and uh, running. So we can pretty much just walk along here and see if anything's for sale. We're not like looking for the last buildings right now. So let's see, is there anything in here? No, no. What we could do if we're feeling very risky is play a game of Shogi, because I have literally no idea how to play that game, but we'll see. Oh no, Mr. Libido. Uh, I will buy Quartier Latin. Right. Um, how are we looking on business? We're actually almost at payout just from walking over here. So, Cabaret Valentin, Ariba Records, Ogando Arts, and Moscow Western Cuisine. Okay, so if we head through the alleyway up here, 
we'll probably get to the other ones. We only have four left, and there's a lot of the town left, so that's pretty cool. Hmm, it's none of these ones. This side doesn't have anything which looks like it. That's fine. We'll have a little check down the alleyway. I think we're mostly good. Yeah, let's check this side. Got anything here? This this one. Sh uh, oh wait, what's this one? Oh, Moscow Western Cuisine. They serve light meals first thing in the morning. Perfect for folks who've been up all night. Uh, we will purchase that. Wonderful. Yep. Just keep purchasing. Probably means we're not going to be able to get our uh, the boys club. Oh no 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 no. Don't need that. But yeah. Um, we're probably going to not be able to get our payouts when we go here because we're going to have to do the Pleasure Kings uh, event, but we'll see. That's the, that's the Shogi place, yeah. Uh, none of those are right. Okay, so let's head all the way along. Yeah, so we're looking to head along this way and see if there's anything new up here. Nothing on that one that we haven't already got. Nothing there. This one? No. Okay. No. 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 Just keep checking buildings. Eventually one of them will be right. Just do that for a second so we can one save and two cancel the fight. I just want to have a look at these buildings. Don't fight me. I'm just having a look at the buildings. Don't... Okay, we'll fight then. It was the worst thing you ever did, because I found a bicycle. And then I used the traffic cone anyway, because uh, that's just how I roll. Okay. Bicycle. Mine. Hey. And keep going. Hey. And... Ooh. Ow. Oh, ow. 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 Okay. We did it. Right, I just want to continue looking at these buildings. Anything in here? No. Anything in here? Nope. 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 <laughs> uh, nope. What are the remaining places? We have the records place, right? Uh, records, cabaret, and Ogando Arts. Okay. Mm. Not that one. Why are you chasing me? I haven't done anything to you yet. No, stay away. Right. Oh, there's one that we can get. Um, Ari, um, Ara Mia Records. Okay. We will purchase that. Nice. We got 63 share. Still haven't done our first thing. They're telling us to do proceeds, but we don't need to worry about that. What is this? The Ringer Hut. Well, I suppose we can go here. Hello. I would like that one and that one. We're getting champon. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. So what's this? Uh, extra thin, extra thin, crispy, deep fried noodles packed with flavor. Oh, that sounds amazing. Okay. Some udon. Some gyoza. Deep fried chicken. Finger smacking good. Some salad. Okay, cool. We'll have uh, an order of everything. Cool. That is a lot of food. Okay, I'm feeling good about that. Really wasn't where I was aiming to go, but you know, it works. Uh... So, La Marche Camarocho. We also have these buildings along here. Can we go there? No. Okay, so these aren't real buildings. 
Probably means none of those. Oh, never mind. <laughs> There's the uh, old antiquities building. And we are now out of money. Cool. I'm going to go play a quick game of Shogi. Not Shogi, of uh, Mahjong. And then we're going to head back and get our proceeds. I'm going to play some Mahjong to prove that I now know how to play. We'll see how this works. Right. In here, this might be an absolute failure. I apologize in advance. But let's go. Now, I do need to get something up on my other monitor. I was kind of hoping the game would continue loading while I did that, but that's okay. I need to get um, the Japanese 1 to 9 numbers up. So let's see. This is perfect. Right. That's, that's the only thing I really need. Because otherwise, we're going to have a real issue with the characters part. Right. Um, we're not going on the beginner table. Oh, I hear the boin. A boin? Boink? Where is it? Can I... How do you go... I Can I go... Oh, I can't go first person in here. There it is. It's Riona Minami. Alright. Well, there was a thing for, actually for being here. We're only missing five cards. Uh, let's go intermediate. Hello. I do not have enough money for intermediate. I will see you later. Right, beginner table it is. Yes, I wish to play. I now I'm ready to absolutely crush you. Change rules. What are our rules? Uh, I would like to play a quarter game, please. Yeah, yeah, start game. It's gonna be quick. So our characters doesn't ma don't matter because we don't need it. Uh, I don't want to chow. I don't think. Let me see. So we currently have two, three, four, and dots, which means that we don't want to chow um, because that would give us one, two, three, and leave us with uh, four randomly there. And having a closed hand where you have everything hidden is better than having an open hand. So we're gonna go with that. Uh, we have six, eight, nine. We might get rid of our si sixes, although I think we can have a pair in our end thing. Yeah, I think we're going to cancel. There we go. Let's see what else we get. Uh, right now, I'm going to get rid of this one, which I believe, looking at my thing, would be five. Yeah, th oh, no, that looks a lot like six. Never mind. That that That's six. We, we're going to get rid of the six of characters because we don't need it. Right. Let's see what we get. We got a one of characters. Um, it might be worth getting rid of our dragons first as well. And our winds. These are wind cards. I don't know what wind they are in exactly. But as long as we match them, that's fine. We're going to get rid of the white dragon. Uh, another two is kind of unnecessary. But I'm going to get rid of this instead. Just because it does nothing for us. I'm not going to pung. Pung would give us a three of a kind. And that's not what we're going for. Uh, green dragon is unnecessary. Oh, he ponged. That is definitely a five. Um, I'm going to get rid of the one instead because we don't... It doesn't really matter. Uh, that is interesting. Yeah, that's interesting. Uh, I'm going to get rid of the one, uh, the green one because it's slightly less useful than the green six because six we could have like five six seven or we could have like um four five six or all of that sort of stuff but with a one you can only have one two three as your line so that's fine this four is pretty good i'm going to get rid of the five of characters because we have nothing going on with that don't need the red dragon either don't need the new wind a lot of this game is just discarding things you don't need uh, we definitely don't need that five. It's completely unnecessary. Another six is very, very interesting, but we don't need it. Um, let me see. I'm going to get rid of these. I don't think we're going to use them. We got ponged. We're about to get uh, something else when I do this, but that's okay. Never mind, I guess. So we have one. Let me just see here. We have one, two, three. Two, three, four. We have, if we get a seven of dots, 
we're looking at seven, eight, nine. This is a seven here, which is pretty good. I think we get rid of our six, our, our six dots. I don't think we need them. I think they are unnecessary. I mean, this is even more unnecessary, but that's okay. Another two is just odd. Oh. Okay, we're getting ponged. I, I don't need a fourth two. I don't need a third two. No, get that out of here. Get rid of this one. Uh, that's eight, which gives us six, seven, eight. Means we can now get rid of the four, because we now know we don't need it. That's nine, which is honestly just ridiculous at this point. Uh, I, do, I still don't need this six. We'll get rid of it. Don't need that one. Draw. Uh, I think we're going to get points. <laughs> no, we lost points. Oh, okay. Because we weren't one, one tile away from winning. Well, that was bad. I told you, this could easily go bad. We only have to do four hands. Um, that would give us... A chow is going to be a line one. So that would give us six, seven, eight. Which uh, we already have. Yeah, we already have that. So I'm going to cancel that. Let's get rid of the wins first. Because they're unnecessary. Uh, we... Don't need that one because that would give us four, five, six. I think. Um, no, that wouldn't give us four, five, six. That would give us. Oh, that would give us seven, eight, nine, um, which we don't need. We might do. I would. Uh, we need to decide whether we're doing pairs or whether we're as in like whether we're doing triplets of car of tiles or whether we're doing lines of tiles. Um. I don't know. I don't know what we're doing here. This is kind of a situation where I'm a little uncertain. I think we're probably doing lines. You know what? I'm going to chow it. Let's take it. Let's let's commit to something. Uh, I'm also going to get rid of this because we don't need it. Uh, that's fine. Let's get rid of these because we can't create lines with them. That would give us two, three, four. That's Jeez. absolutely fine. We'll chow and then get rid of this. We don't want that one because we already have it in our hand. Uh, so I want to find something to do with our... Yeah, I want to find something to do with our ones and our fives. Yeah, we'll cancel that one. Don't need the nine. Don't need the white dragon. Don't need the green dragon. It's completely unnecessary. Don't need the one. It's just not something we need. Two is interesting. Yeah, two is good. This might be really bad. I'm going to get rid of that one. <laughs> Let's see. That's an eight. Definitely don't need an eight. Eesh. Richie means they're one away from winning. I'm going to chow. Get rid of the one. The I think means we're one away from winning. I think we need a pair of green fives to win. I could be wrong though. Don't need that one. Let me just check. Are there any other green fives out there? No other green fives. So we still have potential of winning off of that. But we have to draw it. That's our problem. Yeah, we're not going to draw. Sumo means they drew the winning card. Which means everybody loses points and it goes to them. So they got a winning, fully concealed hand, no points hand. Uh, I don't know what that one means. But Dora means that they had the red card in it. Yeah, so everyone loses some points. Uh, the people who called Ricci lose more points, but I mean, it's fine. We're still in last place. <laughs> okay, so. We have multiple matching ones here, like we have double fives, we have double ones. This is three. Yes, yeah, so these are completely unconnected. These are kind of unconnected. I think we go for pairs, but we don't have that, or triplets, but we don't have that many right now. Uh, let's get rid of this first. That's unnecessary. That's a nine. Uh, I'm going to get rid of that one. That's four. Four is fine. We'll get rid of this next. I'm just going to get rid of all of our wins. Yeah, screw the wind. 
Okay, so that's a five, which gives us three fives, and it's the door, which is extra points. Um, I'm going to get rid of this for just now. That seems fine. Definitely don't want a chow. That's great. That gives us another one, potentially. I'm going to get rid of our another one of these bamboo ones. Still don't need wind. Uh, Kong is four of a kind. Pong is three of a kind. Uh, we could do this, but it looks like we're going to be able to do stuff with a closed hand. And closed hand allows us to do some weird stuff, so I'm going to cancel that. Let's, uh, let's see. What's already been played? Uh, if anything from our hand has already been played, that's the kind of thing we want to get rid of. So this one's already been played by another player. It's going to make it very difficult for us to actually get, um, like, three of a kind of it. So let's just get rid of it. Don't need the white dragon. Uh, I'm not going to pung that, but it is annoying because obviously that means we have to draw that the next one of that. And it's, there's only one more available. Don't want to chow. Get rid of this new one. Um... This was just played, so I'm going to get rid of it. We can also get rid of our wins as well. Yeah, let's get rid of that for just now. Uh, a nine. Kind of unnecessary. This one's already been played, and we have no matching ones for it, so I'm going to get rid of it. Although there's two nines played as well, we should probably get rid of our nine. Okay. Um, there is a, th there's two of those three, so we'll get rid of that. Do I want to pung the ones? Now, that would give us three of a kind. We are running out of tiles, so potentially it's a good idea. I'm going to cancel for just now. That's another one. We have Whoa. to pung it, because n we know that was the last one in the deck. So, unfortunately, we don't have any options there. We're going to get rid of the four, because we... Actually, we, can get, we were going to get rid... We already got rid of the nine, didn't we? Uh, any four dots on, around here? Uh, no. Any eight of dots? No. Two of dots? Again, none of that. Um, let's get rid of the four. Okay. Well, he had the other two. At least gives us another turn. Uh, I don't think we need that one for just now. I can pong that. Because uh, we already have an open hand, we're going to take it. Because it gives us another turn as well, which is quite nice. Uh, let's get rid of this eight for just now, which got ponged by someone else. I'm not going to chow, because you can't mix chows and pongs. Uh, if we get rid of this, it's fine, because we already know where the other three are. It's a draw. We shouldn't lose points. We lost points. All right. Well, never mind. <laughs> oh, no. We are dead last. I think this is the... Oh, it's the second last hand. Okay, so... Uh, multiple sixes is good. We do have one, two. We're missing three. Um, we have multiple nines. I'm going to get rid of some of these winds and dragons and see what we end up with as a hand. I know I keep doing this, but... <laughs> It will eventually work, in theory. Let's get rid of that one. So that gives us one, three, four. I suspect we're going to go for Chow's. Although that is a mu multiple of one, which is not... Yeah. Yeah, it's not ideal for going for Chow's. Uh, although you can have one pair. Um, let's see. Is there anything that's completely useless to us? This one, I think, is useless to us. This one is... Um, six, so we can get rid of that. We don't need six. Whatever whatever hand we're going for, six is unnecessary. Could immediately pung. I'm not going to. Get rid of another green dragon. Chow, so that gives us one, two, three. Hmm. It's pretty early. Let's try it. Oh, we can also choose to do two, three, four. Uh, it really doesn't matter that much. I'm going to take one, Jeez. two, three. And then I'm going to get rid of the four. Although maybe I should have kept the four for four, five, six. But, uh, you know, in hindsight. Yeah. Uh, if I got rid of the four, let's just get rid of the six. 
Well, we got rid of the six, so I'll get rid of the six. Still don't need the one, because we literally just used our one. Multiple twos means that our ones are now useless for chowing. Uh, we will take that one. Our ones are now completely useless. They can be used as a pair, but um, the problem is that we can't... Well, I suppose in theory we could get a two and get like the last two in the deck. Uh, I'm going to get rid of these for just now. Let's get rid of the other one of this. Don't need the eight either. Don't need the nine. Don't need the uh, eight. Don't need the white dragon. Don't need the red dragon. I think we're getting nothing again. Yeah, I think we're getting pretty much absolutely nothing. Although that does give us five six. We already got rid of a couple sixes, but... Sure. Uh, have we any got, got any dots played already? We can see a seven being played, so this puts that one slightly lower value. Uh, I don't... I see a couple of twos, but I don't see any one... Oh, no, I see one... I see a couple ones out as well. I'm going to get rid of that. <laughs> wow. What did that person play to make him make that kind of noise? Uh... <laughs> doesn't really matter what we play here. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this one. We're going to lose points. Yep. Well... Yet to actually have a winning hand whatsoever. Uh, it must be the draw. The draw is the problem, right? Uh, we have multiple matching ones here. We're going to go from match the uh, numbers. Or, or match the pattern. So if we're going from match the pattern, let's just get rid of random things that we don't need. Uh, like, probably... I don't know. This one. Sure. Um, I'm going to get rid of the four. We want to keep the five potentially. Uh, this doesn't matter that we got a straight here like at all. I'm just going to get rid of it. doesn't really matter what we get rid of at this point too much. Yeah. If it isn't something that already matches something in our hand, I'm just going to get rid of it right now. That's fine. Wait till a little bit more gets played. Uh, a five, just unnecessary. Uh, we can chow. That's not what we're going for. Get rid of the white. Uh, they also got rid of theirs. Uh, we should probably get rid of the five at some point because we already see a five being played. So that means that our five's less likely to lead to anything. Um, yeah, I mean that makes okay logic. That one does absolutely nothing for us either way. Uh, we could potentially pivot into lines. Because we got six, seven, nine. Eh, not really. I'm just going to get rid of it. We also see a one. One's already played, so we know it's not useful unless we're going for lines. Let's get rid of that. Or straights, I should say. Three. Don't need it. Do I want to pong? Uh, I'm going to start ponging. Yeah. We're, we're ponging. Uh, let's see. What else have we seen played? Got any ones? Oh, we see a three being played of that. We'll get rid of it. Uh, four. I don't see any fours. Basically, like, do I see any matches whatsoever? If so, get rid of it. I don't see any. Oh, no. I see a match for a nine. Let's get rid of it. Uh, this one, that's pretty good. That's another matchy one for us. Um, I see a three over on the right as well, so we'll get rid of that. I love the noises they make. It's so good. This one is kind of a little odd. Uh, these, uh, I already got rid of a four, so you know what? We should get rid of that. Don't need this one. We're about to run out of tiles. Oh. I believe means that we are screwed. Uh, yup. Yup, we're screwed and we lost. <laughs> Goodbye, points. Well, 
We came in dead last. Apparently, I played better when I had absolutely no idea what I was doing. Good to know. Good to know. Goodbye, money. Goodbye. Okay, well. Time to leave. Yeah, that was fun. I bet, I bet it was fun for you. You probably got money out of that. Anyway. That's alright. The main objective of what we did has been done, which is uh, gambling king areas where we need to go to. The main objective was to waste time, which we have now done. So I can head up there and we can try a little bit of beating up these people and then uh, getting our money. That sounds good. I'm good at getting money off of people, as long as it's not in Mahjong. Mahjong, I'm very bad at getting money off of people. Mm. Unfortunately, I think next time we may have to go see Captain Libido. I'm not sure if that's a good idea, but I think that may be what we have to do. His name isn't Captain. I don't know why I upgraded him. He's Mr. Libido. And he's only Captain Libido when he's in charge of the ship, which he currently isn't. Uh, so let's head over here. And what is happening over here? Excuse me, excuse me. I wish to fight. Yes, uh, I wish to fight. That's a lot of them. Right. Let's fight. Dodge. Whoop. Bicycle. Nice. Oh, they're all dead? That's incredible. I love it. You have the devil's luck. Cool. Let's uh, see what we're at in terms of payout. We need a little bit more time. Oh no, all that time playing Mahjong wasted. Okay, let's just do some running. Running is a very good way of wasting time. Um, well, I mean, it might be paid out by the time we reach where we need to go. We'll see, we'll see. We're almost there. I don't think we're getting any payouts this time anyway, because I'm almost certain that the Pleasure King's going to stop us, but let's see. Are we ready for payout? No, you know what? Just stop us. There we go. Hey, what's the matter? You look upset. Mr. President, I'm disappointed in you. Huh? I never thought you were the kind of person who'd go to those kind of places, Mr. President. Oi. Hey, hold your horses. What the heck are you talking about? Well, just look at this. It's a coupon for an adult shop. Dear valued customer, to show our appreciation for your repeated patronage, we'd like to offer you our services for absolutely free. Please drop by our shop with this postcard to redeem this exclusive offer. Mm. Absolutely free, huh? Wow. Huh? What do you mean, wow? You go to these kinds of places so often they're giving you loyalty rewards? Uh, no, that's not me. Well, at least I've never been to that shop. <sighs> then why'd you get this postcard? And wait, are you saying you've been to other places? I don't know what to think. Yeah. Hey, don't judge. Besides, are you sure it's really addressed to me? You sure it's not for Yamanoe-san? <laughs> Whoa, don't drag me into this. Yeah. No, it's got to be for Yamanoe-san. The sender and addressee are... Huh? <laughs> What's wrong? It's addressed to me. See? I knew it! But the sender is... The Pleasure King. <gasps> what? Does that mean the Pleasure King is challenging you? Uh. Most likely, yeah. We've taken over a bunch of properties in the Pleasure King's territory al already. It makes sense. The Pleasure King has gangs of hooligans under his control. You should be careful if you're going to face him. Uh. Right, thanks for the heads up. This adult shop is on Senrio Avenue. I'll go check it out. Why not? It's absolutely free, right? <sighs> oh, come on. You know that's not why I'm going. 
The Pleasure King wants to see me. I should head over to Senrio Avenue. I wish to collect my proceeds. Alright. Yeah, yeah, yes, game. Yes, you, you see? You see the collect proceeds thing? You see me trying to collect the proceeds? You see... You see what's happening here? You see, it can't be done. It just it, it, it can't be done. It, it's not possible. I would love to collect my proceeds. I have a lot of money there. But it's just not possible. Anyway, I'm going to end the episode there. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.